So this is lesson 4-5, which is systems of linear inequalities. Our essential question is, how is the graph of a system of linear inequalities related to the solutions of the system of inequalities? So our first example is, what are the solutions to the system of linear inequalities? So if you think back to lesson 4-4, if you understood lesson 4-4, this is the same thing, only we're going to put two inequalities on the same graph. And so if we start with A here, I'm going to color code these again. So let's make this top one red. So I'm going to start by going and finding the y-intercept, which is negative 2. And then my slope, remember, is if there's no number with the x, it's just a 1. So it's positive 1. So I'm going to go up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. Okay, and then this one is just greater than. So I'm not going to... Um, do a solid line. I'm going to do a dashed line when I connect the dots here. Okay, so there's my first one, and then I want to shade. So if I shade here, it says y is greater than, so I'm going to shade everything. Oh, I don't want to use a pen. I want to use a highlighter here. So we're going to shade everything above the line. Okay, now Let's use blue for the bottom one. Okay, so I have a y-intercept of 1 and a slope of negative 1. So I'm going to go down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1. Okay, and then this one is or equal to, so I'm going to connect this one with a solid line. Okay, and then let's use... Let's use blue for this one to graph, so or to shade. So this one is y is less than or equal to. So that blue line that we just drew, we want to shade below it. So then if we look here, we can tell that our solution region is this shaded region right in here, that double shaded region. So any point that falls in that double shaded region is a solution to this system of inequalities. Okay, let's go back to the pen here. Okay, so let's use let's use red again. Okay, so for this top one, I am going to go to positive two. My slope is negative one, so I'm gonna go down one over one. This one is or equal to, so I'm gonna connect it with a solid line. And it's greater than, so I'm gonna shade up here. Okay, now let's use blue. For the bottom one, so my slope, my y-intercept is negative two, my slope is negative one, so I'm going to go down one over one, down one over one. This one is not or equal to, so I'm going to connect it with a dashed line. And it says y is less than, so I'm going to shade below the line. So because there's no double shaded region in this, and we can tell that those are parallel lines and this is going to shade away, we would say for this one there's no solution. Okay, here's our next one. This one is going backwards. So we have a picture here. We want to write the system of inequalities um, that is shown by the graph. So we, I always like to pick one to go first. So I'm going to say that my first equation, my one equation, is going to be the red line, and my second equation is going to be the blue line. So we know it's going to start with a y. Then we need a slope and a y-intercept. So for the red one, my y-intercept is at positive 3. So I'm going to leave some space here, right, plus 3. And then I want to figure out what is my slope. It looks like I'm going up 2 over 1. So my slope would be 2. We put an x with it. And then this right here is the double shaded region. So we're going to focus on that. And you can see that is below the red line. So that means it's going to be less than. And my red line is a dashed line, so there's no or equal to. Okay, now we're going to go to the blue line. It looks like my y-intercept is 4, so I'm going to write a plus 4 at the end. And then if you pick any two points, it looks like you're going down 1 over 1. So that would be a negative 1 as my slope. And then if we focus on this shaded region in here, Okay, that's above the blue line, so it would be greater than, 
and my blue line is solid, so it would be greater than or equal to. So those would be my system of inequalities represented by that graph. Okay, so our last one here says Malia has $500 to purchase water bottles and pairs of socks for the fundraiser for her school's cross-country team. She needs to buy a total of at least 200 items without buying too many of just one item. What graph shows the possible numbers of water bottles and pairs of socks that Malia could buy? Okay, so we're going to write a system of inequalities here. So first of all, the items, let's call X the water bottle and Y the socks. So we know that X plus Y needs to be greater than or equal to 200. That's our total items. So we know that however many water bottles we buy plus however many socks together, those need to be greater than 200. Then we want to focus on money. So I know I'm going to get $2 for every water bottle plus $3, or I it costs $2 for every water bottle and it costs $3 for every sock, pairs of socks. And we only, she only has $500 to purchase those things. So that means that the cost of those things needs to be less than or equal to 500. Okay, so now we're going to use our um, cover-up method. So we know for the top one that both intercepts are going to be at 200. So I'm going to put a dot at 200 and a dot at 200. And I'm going to connect those. So that would be my first line. And I know that this is, so if I plug in 0, 0, we don't shade 0, 0 on that one. So that means that I would shade, oops, above that line. Okay. And now if we go back here, so the bottom one, if I cover up the Y, then 2X equals 500. So that would be at... Um, 250, so I'm going to go to 250 on the X, okay, and then if I cover up the 2X, I have 3Y equals 500, so 500 divided by 3, 166.6 repeating, so it'd be 166 and 2 thirds, so we're going to just have to estimate where that is, just a little bit past 166, 160. Okay, and then I'm going to connect those two. But this line, notice how this one's going less than. So if I plugged in 0, 0, it would work. So that means for this one, I need to shade below that line. So again, this is kind of hard to see, but the double shaded region is that little triangular sliver in there. So any point that falls in there would be a solution to our system. Okay, let me know if you have any questions.